Welcome, welcome. This is your daily five minute read. So we're going to go ahead and use these tea leaf cards here today. We'll find out uh, what messages the universe has for you. So we have a box. Uh, you will receive a gift. Well, that is a good way to start a read, I think. A chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. You know what? This might be your gift. Maybe there's a new romance coming along or a new friendship. I have teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Ooh, that might tie into it. I have tent, which represents a temporary situation. So you might be in a transitional period in your life. Uh, and maybe this friend is helping you out with it too. I do have crown, honor, and respect will come to you. So I feel like uh, you are making progress. You are working towards something. Um, and definitely that will on that will earn you that respect and that honor. I have dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. Interesting. Lion, time to act. So definitely a time for change in this transitional period of your life. I have yoke, feeling tired, down, or frustrated, which is not uncommon when you're going through a transitional period. Uh, I do have tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance, interesting and ear good news so something good is definitely coming your way i feel like i feel like the cards are encouraging you um to take a risk and to look for an opportunity that might be a little bit outside the norm um i feel like with the cards encouraging you to do so, uh, it's going to help to bring success your way. I feel like it's very positively aspected. I do have the Page of Cups, which represents good news on the way, and that of an emotional nature. I have the Five of Swords, which can represent selfish or short one victories, or victories at the cost of others as well. Hmm. And this might even be a warning. Uh, maybe somebody out there is thinking that way of you, or maybe it's to make sure that you're uh, moving in an honest way in your path here. I have the strength card, which speaks of empowerment. I feel like it's talking about uh, taking taking the bull back by the horns and and being able to to action some sort of change in your life with this this tiger card and this lion card as well. The three of wands represents moving in a positive forward direction while overcoming obstacles, and I feel it's directly tied into that too. And time to uh, make some changes in your life. The queen of cups represents emotions. I feel like she's tied into a friend. Somebody who's very emotionally supportive. It might be time to reach out to a friend too. And maybe that's what the cards are encouraging. While well, you're feeling all this stress um, from this change. To be able to reach out and lean on your support system. I have the King of Pentacles. He represents wealth and success. Oh, you know what? I think he's this chair filled. I think he's this person about to enter your, your life. And I feel like he's actually bringing an opportunity with him as well. And that's the gift. Uh, Wheel of Fortune card represents your fortunes changing for the better. I feel this King of Pentacles is directly tied into that. Uh, the Death card represents a transition and change. So closing the door on one chapter of your life and beginning a new one. I do have the Page of Swords, which represents delayed or disappointing news. I feel like it ties into all this stress that you've been having in this transitional time. Uh, maybe each direction you keep trying to go and you're getting doors slammed in your face and it's not quite working out. Sometimes the universe blesses us with what she doesn't give us. So these things might be happening uh, because you need to wait for this King of Pentacles to enter your life. And the opportunity, opportunity that he's bringing you is the path that you are supposed to be taking and what will bring you the most amount of success. Uh, I have the Fool card, which represents looking at things in a new light and having a new perspective. The Six of Pentacles, I see generosity and abundance in this. I feel like the generosity is tied to this King of Pentacles and the opportunity that he brings. And the abundance is what will come from that. The Ace of Swords represents triumph. So I do see success in your future. I have the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like this speaks to you and building your own wealth and success uh, from the opportunity that this King is going to give you. The Four of Cups represents an emotional indifference. To me, this Four of Cups is speaking to the need to set any negativity aside uh, and not have it in your life. I feel like you need to reach out to a friend. I feel like that's going to help you being able to, to unload uh, your stress and your burdens. Having somebody to lean on, somebody to listen to, I feel like that is definitely going to help uh, uplift your mood. It's going to help to lighten uh, the load on your back, emotionally speaking. And I feel like this king is going to come your way and he's going to give you an opportunity to build your own wealth and your own success. Alrighty, guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment. I do love hearing from you guys. And remember, if you want to participate in the free read giveaway at the end of each week, 
All you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you are interested. Remember, we uh, start a new draw every single week, guys. Alrighty, take care.